Good morning everybody, I've got another project going on here. This is the refrigerator vent for my Arctic Fox truck camper. I replaced the lower vent about a month ago because it had some damage to it and the colors didn't match. The top vent was a little bit discolored from exposure to sunlight so I thought okay well it's time to replace the upper vent too. So I'm also going to install a little light fixture on it. It's a Rigid Industries scene light. This is a amber with white housing. Fairly basic installation. Uh, just drill three holes. Two for your mounting holes, one for your wire harness. And it's got a little channel back here. Kind of hard to see in the lighting here, but uh, little recessed area to route that wiring through and just keep it tucked in behind the light. Probably the thing I'll do is just uh, install it right in the center there. I put a little post-it note and we are at 22 and 3 quarter so that's going to be 11 and 3 eighths is half of that. And there we go. And let's mark in the center top to bottom. We are at three, a little over three and a quarter. So about half of that's one and five eighths. When I drop the light fixture down on there, it's going to completely cover up those center marks. So I'll add a couple more sticky notes. Checking the clearance on the back, we're good. There's just this little lip right here. This lip is actually part of the flange. And this ridge here is the center of the light. I've used one of these lights before and I just remembered that there's a mounting template inside the instructions. I've made a photocopy of my mounting template here. And what I'm going to do next is take my straight edge, line up the center mark of the two mounting holes, and draw that line all the way across the mounting template. That way I can line it up with the this line that I drew earlier. This next thing we'll do is tape the mounting template right there onto the sticky notes and get ready to drill those holes. And then mark your holes with a center punch. Next we'll drill our holes. I'm going to start with a 1564 drill bit. Uh, the instructions call for a drill bit size letter K or .281.
that's just barely big enough. And uh, the hole for the wire it needs to be several sizes bigger. I'm going to take that up to 930 seconds. Once you've got the holes drilled out to the right size and everything, then you can go ahead and uh, drop the light in place and install your hardware and mount it. Now that I have this dropped in place, I actually should have had the light mounted higher so the entire body of the light was centered here. What I didn't realize was that these holes are not centered on the actual light housing. And then we've got two flat washers and two nylock nuts. Seven sixteenths wrench or socket and not real sure which size hex head driver I've got here. I've got the new bezel partially installed. I'm using replacement screws and these are number eight screws, stainless, one inch long. I put a bead of sealant around the inside of the flange and then also around the outside of the flange area just outboard of the screw holes. Then I put a little dollop of sealant in each screw hole before I drop the flange in place and then the next thing I did was come back over and put another little dollop of sealant in the screw hole once I installed the flange. And before I drive each of the screws tight, I'm actually running all of the screws in most of the way. And before I drive the screws in, I want to check the clutch on my drill and set it to a very light setting. I think I'll back it off all the way to the lowest setting. Too low. On my lower vent right here, I have a switch that controls the light. The wire comes up right along the side here and I've got a little disconnect plug and the wire for that switch it uh, is tapped into the refrigerator power and here's how I did the wiring on the light this little pigtail here with this two pin connector that wire goes up to the light this is our ground wire it just goes directly to the light and then the red wire connects to one side of the switch then I have a small fuse here. Yellow wire goes to the other side of the switch. And then both of those wires come together. And I kind of have them routed back here behind. They come up right here. So the yellow wire piggybacks into the red, the positive for the refrigerator. And then the black piggybacks into the white, which is the ground for the refrigerator. On the back side of the light, we got the wires, and I've got a little harness built up with a mating style disconnect plug. It'll plug into the plug on the camper, and I'll strip my wires back. And I probably made this wire longer than I needed to. So I'll take up some of that extra slack by routing the wire 
over this way a little bit. The reason I'm installing a light is because on the passenger side of my truck camper there is no outside light. And we are ready to install the vent. There's four little tabs on the bottom of the vent. We'll slip those into the slots on the bezel. And carefully we get back in here and hook the wire harness up. And you can see that my switch is actually on because the light just turned on. And tuck that wire down so it's not getting up against anything that it shouldn't be in there. And we are done. That light is very nice. I have one on the other side of the camper and that one on the other side is white. This amber one is one that I've had in my garage for a few years so I thought I might as well put it to use. In the description below I'll put a link to this light and the other styles too. The light that I used, white with amber LEDs, there's four different styles of this light available. There's black with white or amber LEDs and then white with white or amber LEDs. The part number four, the white housing with amber LEDs is 86640.